In the Terego district of the West Nile region in northern Uganda, the Rhino Camp refugee settlement is home to 134,000 refugees from neighboring South Sudan. It is made up of seven different zones, including the Ofua and Omuku zones, which are divided by the Nyara River. During the rainy season, the river would become dangerous to cross and would cut off communities from essential services. Access to the nearest school is not possible. Uh, access to health centers, access to agricultural land, access to the next water point is not possible. Uh, children who are in this lower part of uh, Omogo settlement cannot access Amuru Primary, which is just the next, less than one kilometer. They have to go to St. Mary's Uchi, which is like five kilometers away from them. If it rains, you find some learners unable to come to school because the water, the level at which it comes at times, it can scare them and make them not to come. To address access issues in the area, UNOPS, with funding from the Government of Japan and the Government of Uganda, worked with the Ministry of Works and Transport to build a bridge to connect both of the settlements. During the construction, attention was paid to ensuring health and safety and the involvement of women. A number of uh, safety measures have been put in place to secure the public as well as uh, the construction site. As uh, UNOPS uh, policy, safety is very paramount in all its uh, engagements. The project had a gender action plan, which includes all the stages of the project. We encouraged contractors to include as many female engineers, female workers in the project. And during the implementation, uh, we had facilities for uh, male and female workers in, in the site camp. Involving the community in the construction of the bridge helped to develop skills and provide income generating opportunities. I've developed more skills and I enjoy working with the, this company because they have made me to build more skills in me and it has made me to be strong because at the beginning I used to have fear to work with men. In addition to supporting school children and enabling the community to access other essential services, the bridge is also facilitating the movement of vital humanitarian supplies. Um, as World Food Program in uh, Omugo, we're reaching out to around 70,000 and uh, you know, for around uh, 60,000 uh, refugees. We have our main stores in, um, in, in Rhinocom, um, and so therefore Omugo is served from the main stores in, uh, in Rhinocom. Unop did a good job, and finally we are here. I'm very happy to see that the bridge is completed, and I hope that this will contribute to the livelihood of the refugees and the host communities. I'm grateful to the Japanese government and the JICA and the UNOPS for the support they have rendered. And I'm also grateful to the government of Uganda for availing us the resources. This bridge showed us that it may look it has a great impact in this community. It has solved the problem of connectivity between the settlements. They are now going to be one community because they now have a common crossing point, which is the bridge that in my opinion, is going to unite the people.